This really is one independent woman, and one who's making big changes. Kate Allsop is the elected mayor of Mansfield, and proud to be independent. I don't have to waste time talking about national po politicians and trying to defend some of their indefensible decisions. And that's great, because that means I spend the whole time thinking about Mansfield and doing what's right for Mansfield. It's the most liberating way to be a politician. Today she's meeting a couple who've been helped by her new housing Hello. policy. Thank you very much for inviting me You're to your welcome. home. Come on in, please. Steve Thank Canning you. and his wife Rachel have just moved into a new council bungalow. We, we never look back since we come in. Everything's on one floor, you know, you don't need anything else. Don't miss the stairs whatsoever. We came out of a three bedroom house, it was no good for us, you know, because the uh, bedrooms are on three different floors. And since me and wife coming here, it's absolutely marvellous. It's one of 17 homes being built to free up larger council houses for families, a scheme that's been nominated for a national award. Just part of the attention that Mansfield's been getting. The money the council receives from central government has been cut by 70% since 2010, and yet despite that, councillors have voted to freeze council tax for the sixth year in a row, and this place is getting a £100,000 facelift. But not everyone's impressed. Labour say there are still high levels of poverty here. Sandy Lane was named one of the most deprived streets in the country, and raising council tax rather than freezing it would help. A 2% increase for most people in Mansfield would mean a raise of less than £3 a year, which is a very small amount of money, it's pennies a month. Um, and I think that when we think about that in the context of protecting our assets, keeping our parks and green spaces, protecting services, I think that's a price that most of us would willingly pay actually. Now the council are freezing their council tax for the sixth year in a row, would that help you out at all do you think? Do you think it makes any difference? Uh, not a grand difference really, when you look in the grand scheme of things, everything else goes up, council tax being froze, rent's going to go up, it's not going to make much difference. It Council tax hasn't gone up. Does so, that make yeah. a difference? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, definitely now we're both retired, yeah. yeah. And Labour suspect that Kate and her fellow councillors on the Mansfield Independence Forum aren't all that independent. Kate Allsop, who's the current mayor, you know, is an ex-Tory and stood as a Conservative and was elected as a Conservative in the past. Um, so her political leanings are probably different to mine, I think it's fair to say. Wherever the mayor's views land on the political spectrum, this independent woman says other councils would benefit from following Mansfield's lead. Yes. Mansfield is the third happiest place to live. So if you know that the, your district council isn't going to be taking more money out of your purse for the next four years, then that makes you happy, doesn't it?